What's going on guys, Billy here today bringing you guys another video. So as many of you may know, with the brand new 2016 MacBook Pros, they brought some cool design changes such as butterfly keys, a larger trackpad, as well as the all new touch bar. Now there are two sides to the touch bar, some people think that is revolutionary while others think that is a gimmick and they would rather just use the regular function keys. So if you're in between and you don't know which one to upgrade to, the regular one with function keys or the touch bar, there's a cool way that you can test out the touch bar itself on your older MacBook Pro. Now the first thing you want to do is click on the Apple and click on About This Mac and from here you want to make sure you're on the latest version of Mac OS Sierra. Now if you're not you can head over to the App Store and do a free upgrade. It might take around 20 minutes to download and fully install but once you're all done then you can come back to this video and pick it up from here. Now we can quit this for now and head over to Safari and from here we're going to go to a website called redsweater.com backslash touche. Now I'll throw this link in the description so you can click on it for an easy access but from here we're going to click on free download which will go to your downloads folder and is less than one megabyte so it shouldn't even take one second to download from there we'll unzip the file that downloaded and then we can double click on touche and then from there click on open and then as you guys can see we have the touch bar itself on the screen now the cool thing about this is depending on which app you're in it will change so as you can see we are on the desktop but if we click the downloads it will switch to the finder view so this is just a cool way to check out the touch bar for yourselves. It will change depending on which app you're in, just like the touch bar on the MacBook Pros, but the only thing is you won't be able to touch it. You're gonna have to use it with your mouse. So it definitely is a good way to give it a try and see if the extra money is worth it for you guys. So that's about it for this video. Definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. If this helped you out, definitely go ahead and check it out. I think that is cool, even if you have an older MacBook Pro and don't plan on upgrading to a 2016, just to give it a try and see what the whole craze is about. But anyway, that's about it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.